yeah. It's so bad, I wanna shoot, shoot, shoot like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe. I got what you want, and ain't nothing but a loop. And we're back with the broken hearted BRZ. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, so today we have with me a 2018 Subaru BRZ. I personally built with a lot of my friends. Um, also check out our crew, Ronin Syndicate. Please subscribe. Um, it is, it's been my dream to, to build one of these. Um, I've had a lot of cars, but I wanted something that stood out, that was different, that caught people's attention, that everyone had, but also I could turn to my own and completely just recreate. So far, I've invested about $30,000. That is with no installation fees. If you want to do the work yourself at home, it will cost you roughly about $30,000. Um, I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about cars that I like, and I'm always trying to watch a video to inspire me or get some creativity um, from that video. And there's no such thing. They're usually just vlogs talking about how the guy worked on it, what he did, how much he spent on it. So I'm trying to start something new. I'm doing what's called car music videos, where it just shows off the creativity and the beauty of the art that that creator made. So if you are interested in buying that vehicle or modifying your vehicle, it can give you some ideas. Not only that, this channel will also tell you about what I did to Get, get the vehicle like this, um, how long it took me, um, was it worth it? No, time and time again, I've always heard this, don't curve with your car. I don't care if it blows up, but yes, it was worth it. We gotta bleep that out, it was worth it. Um, there is no feeling, no other feeling like driving a turbocharged car, especially one that is DIY. Um, Everything was done for myself or with my friends. And would I go back and change the thing? No, it is amazing. Like, if you look at just the small, tiny details, um, I'm it, 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 it's a work of art. Everything was custom. From the brackets that hold the oil cooler kit, from the inner cooler kit being held there. Because when I bought the car, I didn't have anything down here. As if you notice, um, all turbocharged cars. They usually mount the um, the foil cooler kit right here, and they have the intercooler. Mine's heavy, but it's supported with these beams and brackets that I made. Not only that, I have a bash bar. I have a parent oil cooler kit. I have a Aeroflow Dynamics front splitter. I have a custom mesh um, front grill. I actually, I've got the grill. Um, fiberglass hood. Uh, I believe these are spec D lights, option lab, uh, option lab ribs, aeroflow dynamic side skirt extension, aeroflow dynamic side skirts. Uh, don't laugh at me, I always get my coil logos wrong. It's called like tines or teens or something. Um, but they're, they're, they're great. I would, re I would really recommend them. Um, this is probably one of my favorite modification is the Grady exhaust. The Grady exhaust is $2,000 if you want this exhaust. Um, the only bad thing I've had with it is because of the turbo with the pops and bends, it pops so hard that the screws come out. So I'm constantly having to replace the screws or just zip tie it because it's easier. Um, and this is also the Rocket Buddy D3 diffuser. Um, I believe these are my stock tail lights. I know it's a stock tail light. But all this is coming off. Um, I wanted to make this video because I do have a wide body kit that, thank you for the sponsorship, Robots Crafted. Please go check them out as well. That I was building. I wanted to take the time out and just make a whole bunch of videos just enjoying the beauty of the vehicle. So when you go to my channel, you can just watch it where you're not interrupted by a person talking. You can just get a feel for the vehicle. Um, moving to the inside of the vehicle, as you know, the underglow, that's uh, option or op 7 lighting. Um, I actually seen the video. There's a good video on how to install it if you need help. Uh, check out Dragon View, check out his channel. But yeah, so far that's that. 
there's Mr. Man's in the back seat. This is how uh, I get him to go to sleep. I get him to go to sleep. <laughs> the turbo. Lie. I'm not finished with the complete installation. Um, you're supposed to have catch cans. I bought a dual radio catch can, and since it is a DIY channel, I plan on doing everything on my own or with my friends. 86 Speed Shop, I forgot to give them a shout out as well. They do sponsor me. Um, thanks for that. Uh, the turbo is amazing. I love it. I love it. I was actually going to get the credit turbo, but I was recommended by 86 Speed that uh, one of the employees who actually had it in his car that it's a good turbo. And so far, we'll see you all, we'll see you depending on the budget. Um, if I plan on like boost the, raising the boost or just taking the engine out and selling the whole engine. I like doing different shit. Um, once I enjoy it and I have fun with it, I like to change it up, I don't want it to be the same. That's another thing I've noticed with a lot of car enthusiasts. Um, some of their builds, they finish. So, to me, a build's never finished. It's always something you can do. Always something you can add, take away, change. Um, besides, you don't want to always have the same, the same shit. So, I'm changing it. This will all be coming off. I just wanted to make a couple videos of it with the turbo and the way it looks because I love the way it looks. And I really don't want to take it off. Um, I haven't decided on what I'm going to do with the parts yet. Because literally, it's literally gonna be just a frame, and then everything's gonna be exchanged. So I'm excited. Um, it's cold, but uh, I wanna also thank you all for taking the time out, supporting me, taking the time out your day to even look at my channel, look at my builds, even give me the opportunity to come into your life. Um, it means a lot. I really do wanna do this for the rest of my life. This is my drink i love it and i wouldn't change it so if you're thinking about getting a uh, subaru vrz and turbocharging it i would say yes it is uh, a great decision only if you can financially support it because once again it is very expensive i do not support or i do not suggest just buying this car to turbocharge if that's what you're like, looking for like price range because it's very expensive um the turbo kit, I forgot to say that, the turbo kit was $5,000. No installation, just for the kit. Uh, we're shipping 5K. Uh, Zeno, PRZ, actually painted the, uh, the part for me, which is amazing, and helped me install it. Um, the oil, the, uh, the radiant oil catch can, the dual with the dual release that I have to put in all the way, but that was about, I want to say it was 600. I feel like 700, 800 dollars for that. The rims, I got an amazing deal on from somebody who uh, he had like a minor chip on them and he didn't want it anymore. So I bought them from him, brand new down there. And he has a green, uh, sanded down, green thing, polished painted. I think I paid him, I want to say I gave him like, it was like $900 for the rims. Like 900 Yeah, it was $900 for the rims. The front lift, I paid. Front lift was about $500. My side skirts extensions were about $400. My side skirts were about $450. The lights, um, I got lucky to the car. Uh, the bash bar, that was like, I think that was like, like $500, $100. The exhaust, $2,000. The Rocket Bunny was about four or $500. Yeah, I spent, a, I spent a lot. <laughs> so if you could, um, please like, subscribe, smash that like button, don't forget, and comment. Thank you for taking time out your day. We'll be back soon.